This story this morning, oh my word, this guy was on a plane. He's a professor at Drexel University. He's super liberal. His name's George, how do you pronounce this? Maybe. Chicarelio or something like, like that? Him. That's his picture. So he's on a plane. He sees a guy, a nice Samaritan in first class, giving up his seat for a soldier. So he tweeted this out. Some guy gave up his first class seat for a uniformed soldier. People are thanking him. I'm trying not to vomit or yell about Mosul. Unbelievable. Now keep in mind, the fella up in first class in the uniform, he, thanks to his service, he gave the guy from Drexel the opportunity to write dumb tweets. Absolutely. Right, uh, the freedom. So what do you think about that? Uh, tweet us now. It's already creating a firestorm before the show. I can imagine during the show. Well, we'll get to your comments. This is the same guy that Brian, remember in the uh, past, you might not remember it, but well, in the article, you can read this. He also claimed, uh, called for white genocide at one point over the Christmas holiday right. and then hoped he, to abolish the white race. He said, all I want for Christmas is white genocide. At the time, uh, Drexel University came out and said that is completely disgusting and inappropriate. But a couple of days later, they said it was satire. It was protected speech. He continues his job at Drexel. If because I remember correctly, <laughs> May 1st, you really have to decide what college you're going to. And I imagine Drexel, which is a good reputation, mm -hmm. people are said if they can get lucky enough to get in, they have to make a big decision. I think this helps a lot of people with their decision. If that's their view to hire somebody with those views that feels bold enough to tweet them out to the rest of the world and impervious to any type of backlash, maybe you should pick another university. Unless, of course, you agree. Well, you know, we all work so hard. You bring up a good point because we work so hard for our money. We're already saving for our kids to go to college. You have a child in college. Imagine working as hard as you do. You do three hours of morning, three hours of radio, your money going to this university and paying for this teacher to teach your son. Well, here's the Imagine. other thing. It's not the only university with professors yep. who've got I news know. like this. I know.